Hi, this is Ravi ji and you're watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we are discussing about a question that has been asked in CSU2 University exam in 2014. The question is like this. At the inlet of a nozzle, the enthalpy of the fluid passing is 3000 kJ per kg and the velocity is 60 m per second. At the outlet, the enthalpy is 2762 kJ per kg. The nozzle is horizontal and negligible heat loss from it. So the question wants us to find first the velocity at the exit of the nozzle, second if the inlet area is 0.1 meter square and the specific volume at the inlet is 0.187 meter cube per kg the mass flow rate so let's start given things first h1 we have 3000 kilojoule per kg we have c1 as 60 meter per second a1 that is the inlet area as 0.1 meter square specific volume at the inlet as 0.187 meter cube per kg these are the given values at the inlet and at the outlet we have h2 as 2762 kilojoule per kg okay so we got this now to find We want to find C2 and mass flow rate. Mass flow rate is kg per second, right? So we know SFEE as H1 plus C1 square by 2 plus GZ1 plus QCV is equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2 plus gz2 plus wcv as we know that for nozzle work transfer is zero so we can neglect this also as the question says that it's horizontal and there is negligible heat loss so The effect for these are also nullified. So our equation becomes H1 plus C1 square by 2 is equal to H2 plus C2 square by 2. Okay, but for calculation in kilojoule per kg terms we have to convert this in kilojoule per kg term as h1 plus c1 square by 2000 is equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2000 right so we got this now h1 is given c1 is given h2 is given and c2 is unknown so we have to find out c2 from here so we are just putting the values 3000 plus 60 square by 2000 is equal to 2762 plus c2 we don't know by 2000 how we have converted this into kilojoule per kg term c1 square by 2000 i have explained this in my previous video which can be seen here so okay again moving further we have the c2 everything is known 
we can calculate C2 as 692.53 meter per second. This is your answer. Okay. Now we got C2 also. So the next thing is from mass balance m dot is equal to a1 c1 by v1 where a1 is given as 0.1 c1 is 60 and v1 is 0.187 so our answer comes as 32.09 kg per second this is your answer